Robert, as uh, as the dissenter in this in this rescission vote, uh, what uh, what do you think this uh, signal says sends to the USATF membership and the public in general about the leadership at uh, USATF? I, I can't say what it says. It uh, I can speak for myself, okay. and um, you know, I'm. My position remained the same from this meeting versus the December meeting. Yeah. I was not convinced there was a compelling reason to overturn the, uh, the vote of the membership right. and uh, maintain that position today. Obviously, there's, uh, the vote wasn't a decision on who to pick today. It was a vote whether to rescind the earlier decision, and obviously 12 other individuals decided that um, they choose not to entertain that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to know the mechanics. If uh, if USATF were to impeach Stephanie, would she still be on the board? And if so, and if not, would she still be eligible for uh, IAAF nomination? I, I can't speak to that. I haven't analyzed that situation, so that's a, that's a is that a possibility? Do you do you see that's that? A, as a, that's a hypothetical. I, right. I couldn't speak to. So right. And uh, what have you been hearing from your constituents? The AAC elected right. me okay. uh, as one of uh, three uh, representatives to the board, and we okay. also have one alternate, so there's right. four voices uh, right. that can participate in meetings. And right. uh, I was speaking on behalf of my constituents, which is the AAC in general, but yeah. in particular today when I was speaking to the vote, it was the Athletes Advisory Committee, both officers and event leaders, which represents uh, athletes across all the event groups. Um, in January, they voted 13 with four abstaining uh, right. to ask the board to reconsider its. Uh, when when Steve Miller made his, made this argument that uh, hey we like an, like an electoral college a representative democracy you trust us to make the right decisions and if you don't like our decisions you can remove us uh, is that his basically a challenge to USATF said to put up or shut up you know remove us if you, if you want is that a challenge to USATF membership. Uh, it is what he said. I, I don't know how yeah. you want to interpret it, but I'm sure everyone will hear it a different way. Yeah. And so, uh, anyway, did you did you expect any different outcome today from from uh, from earlier? Did you? Expect frankly, I, I I didn't expect a, a change of heart. I thought yeah. there may have been a few other uh, individuals that would at least entertain re-voting on the situation given the calls from both the athletes and associations and membership in general that asked for uh, a reconsideration and uh, I guess today was a proxy for that yeah. and I don't think it would have changed however you worded the motion. What, uh, what, 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 nobody wants to address the elephant in the, in, the, in, the, in the room. What was the reason for Stephanie winning the original board vote and being supported again today? Why was she supported? I, I can't speak to that. I obviously uh, what are your had, theories? A, had a different uh, a different opinion. And I, I, my theory, I, I mentioned, uh, I know why, or I have my own theories, and I've been, you know, people have told me why they supported Bob over Stephanie. And I, as I mentioned on, on discussion today, I think a lot of it has to do with personalities and interactions with the two individuals over many, many years. Uh, my take is they're both very well known individuals in the sport. They both served it admirably uh, for many years. Um, that said, um, you know, the 392 who voted one way and the, uh, you know, at our last AAC meeting, the 13 who voted the other, uh, voted for uh, Bob, uh, yeah. have formed an opinion based on their interactions. And ultimately, I did not see a reason to reject that opinion. Our, our members and our athletes are well informed and know both candidates very well. Several members here made the case that uh, we, as, in, as Americans in, in, in favor of democracy and diversity and inclusion, uh, should uh, fight for the IW, change within the IAAF to make it more inclusive, diverse, etc., at the expense of perhaps influence. Uh, how do you respond to that? Well, I, I absolutely think we should fight for uh, more diversity and uh, changes in the IAAF. It's obviously not a model uh, governance structure, and there's lots of examples of that over the years. Um, that said, uh, um, you know, you have to take political realities into your decision-making process, uh, and you know, the board uh, calculated one way, and uh, you know, I, I don't think it's, it's, that's a tough call. I, I ultimately, in an ideal world. Those those considerations uh, sh shouldn't shouldn't have to be made, right. but that may not be political reality um, of uh, of where you're going. And I can say, you know, the converse is we've obviously the USA Track and Field has obviously taken the position uh, to support to support diversities, to support uh, more inclusion uh, on those uh, committees. And, and for instance, in the case of the race walk committee, a female was elected. Um, between two Correct. very qualified candidates, 
Um, and one of the reasons, one of the reasons, not the only, but one of the reasons was they knew there was an awareness that there was a uh, a, a female that was leaving that committee, and there'd be an opening. So right. it, it goes both ways, and I don't think uh, I think it's it's uh, it's a disservice to read into uh, discussion of that as okay. uh, forming an opinion. Okay.